everybody. Welcome back to Tony's Tactics, a channel for the what, how, and why of horsemanship. Today we're going to be talking about how to do a waterfall braid. So a waterfall braid is a quick and easy way to take this gorgeous long mane and tuck it up into a nice braid. Um, they're not usually used in the hunter ring or in hunter jumper shows, but they can be used in dressage. They're often used for breed competitions, and they're just really pretty and really fun to do. So you always want to start with a nice brushed out mane, um, but make sure even though the manes are long that you're not putting shoshin in them. That'll make them really slippery when you go to braid. So you start the braid at the very top, right behind the bridle path. And depending on how long or thick your mane is, your sections are going to be different lengths. Waterfall braids are typically done on manes that reach at least halfway down the neck, but you can do them on shorter manes, you just need to take smaller sections. So with Miss Ellie here, because her mane's kind of thin, we're going to make small sections. And you're going to start with three sections of the same size. So one, two, three all the same size. And you're gonna start across the left one over the middle, just like you would a normal braid. Cross over, cross over one more time. But after you cross this one over the second time, you're gonna add a new section. Just like you would a French braid, but you're only gonna add them in when you cross over the section on the right. The section on the left just crosses over like it would a normal braid. That's what creates this really cool waterfall shape. So we're going to keep going. And it's really important that every section is about the same length or about the same size. So in thicker mains, the sections are going to be pretty big. In shorter or thin mains, the sections are going to be pretty small. Ellie's mane is about average, so her sections are going to be about average. And I would qualify average as about the thickness of your pinky finger. And so depending on how big your sections are and how tight you pull them, you're either going to end up going straight across the mane this way, or on longer manes, you'll end up going a really pretty diagonal down this way. And waterfall braids, it just kind of happens where it happens, unless you're really, really good at them. Over time, you can figure out how tight you need to pull or how big your sections need to be to put the braid exactly where you want it. So once you get to the end of the neck and the withers, the hairs will start generally getting a lot shorter. So it's kind of up to you to decide where you want to end your braid. I'm going to end it right about here because these hairs are way shorter and are going to pull the braid in weird directions. So to finish a waterfall braid, you just keep braiding down without adding any new sections. So then you're going to get your braiding band or your hair tie just wrap it around the bottom. Um, you can also finish them off with electrical tape. Electrical tape is really good for manes because it doesn't leave any residue. So it can be really helpful, especially if you're doing training braids or using braids to maintain really long manes. And there you have it. A very fun, fancy waterfall braid. Um, and like I said, depending on how big you make your sections and how tight you pull them in different parts of the braid, you could either make it sit right next to her crest like that, or you could even bring it all the way down on her neck, which is just stunning. Thanks for watching, and remember to always ask why. Bye for now.